Welcome to the Lawbreakers, where we delve into the most absurd laws in Canada. Today, we're going to explore five laws from five different Canadian cities on a trek that will take us from the beautiful Parliament buildings of Ottawa, Ontario to the majestic foothills of Calgary, Alberta. So, sit back, relax, and crack open a cold one. Unless you're a necrophiliac, then don't read too much into that last statement. Also, shame on you. Now, let's get started. No kite flying allowed. First up, we head to Ottawa, Ontario, the capital city of Canada. While visiting this city of incompetent politicians, be sure not to miss the other amazing sights, such as tourist traps, inflated housing costs, the hopelessly toothless, and the criminal offense of flying a kite. Can you believe it? In Ottawa, if you are caught flying a kite within city limits, you might as well kiss your freedom goodbye. What kind of nonsense is that? Are they worried poor Mr. Trudeau will trip over the string? That man ruins everything fun. No sledding allowed. For our next weird law, we are going to Halifax, Nova Scotia, the largest city in Atlantic Canada. This beautiful city is home to many wonders, including teen pregnancy, Mike Duffy, and the criminal offense of sledding on a snow-covered sidewalk. Can you imagine being arrested for having too much fun? Why is fun illegal in Canada? No sleeping in bread trucks. Up next, we have Winnipeg, the capital and largest city of Manitoba. This city of wonders has it all, including the flattest land you have ever seen, day drinking, lower back tattoos, and the criminal offense of sleeping in a bread delivery truck. If you're ever in Winnipeg and find yourself in need of a nap, make sure you don't do it in a bread delivery truck. This simple act of taking a snooze is now a criminal offense. Just sleep with your neighbor's wife. It's not against the law, and besides, you know you want to anyway. It still makes you a bad person, but not a criminal. Let's take a moment to pause so that you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. My wife says that if I can grow the channel, that she won't tell anyone about our small penis issue. Now let me be perfectly clear, I don't think that there is anything wrong with having a small penis. I just personally don't think that my wife should have a penis at all. Call me old-fashioned. But no, it's always sausage, never eggs. Well, back to the show. No rug beating allowed. Next, we have Edmonton, the capital city of Alberta. This city features wonders including, but not limited to, meth-addicted homeless people, Connor McDavid, potholes you can lose a car in, and the criminal offense of beating a rug in the street after 11 p.m. In Edmonton, if you are caught beating your rug after 11 p.m., you better hope the cops don't catch you. Can't beat your rug. Can't beat the system. Might as well beat your meat. Can someone ask Charlie Sheen how to do the winning thing, but without all of the aids? No toad licking allowed. Finally, we have Calgary, the largest city in Alberta, home to many wonders, including a false sense of entitlement, a bad hockey team, and the criminal offense of licking a toad during the month of June. Don't. Just don't. During any month. Or any time. Ever. Think about it. You're already not the hippest cat in the animal shelter. Is people knowing that you do this in your spare time going to make your life any easier? Exactly. So don't. That wraps up this episode of The Law Breakers. We hope you enjoyed this light-hearted look at some of Canada's weird and bizarre laws. Do you know of any weird laws that we should cover? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, don't break the law unless it's fun, but seriously. Thanks for watching.